So I've given patterns for crosses for those that are interested in having a cross shape. The beauty of it is it's obviously quite easy to cut out and you'll find lots of more elaborate shapes out there on the internet. You could make this thinner, you could make it just three wide or even two wide if you wanted to, but this gives a good chunky, easy to hold for those who are just beginning. Um, there are some heart shapes. This heart was not cut out following one of the patterns that I've given, but it just shows it, uh, the kind of approach that you can take. And this is using two strands, using the long stitch, uh, just mirrored it on either side. And I left the strands and made them into a bow. Uh, again, the back looks pretty messy, so either you want to put another heart on the back to cover it up or a bit of cloth to cover it if you're worried about that. You could use paper. If you're not worried about washing it, then obviously you can just stick some paper on the back and trim it down. I am going to cut out a key fob, but I've also given the pattern for the key fob so that if you want to make any more key fobs, I'll give you one of the rings that allow you to make the complete key fob, but you will have enough to make more than one of these if you wanted to. And the other three-dimensional shapes that we can look at making are boxes. And I've given some links to some relatively large size boxes. I'm not convinced you'll get enough plastic canvas to make that. Now, this box has been made by sewing one long strip around. And in fact, I recommend that rather than lots of small bits, especially if you're beginning because you can't actually tell the difference looking at it. But what you do need to do is you need to sew your corners. So you use overcast to join your stitches. Again, I've given links to videos. Here you can see that I've made a pattern. It's not showing up very well. There we go. I've made a pattern just by using shorter and longer stitches. So I've overcast going into one hole and then two, then one, then two giving that kind of pattern. This one's been overcast at the top and at all the corners using single, catching a single hole and again round the bottom all the edges. And this one was done without cutting. All I did was cut out the corners, the squares at the edges and then folded it and over sewed rather than having separate bits to join together. But you can take whichever approach you like. I found it easier just keeping it in one piece and folding it. It is quite difficult to make sure you get your folds in the right place. So again, do use your pins to mark where your joins and where your corners need to be. So you can get some very cute little boxes like this. And again, you could keep it like this. You can stitch the whole lot. Do stitch this inside bit before you sew it up because you'll find it more difficult to sew once the sides have been put there. Um, you could, if you wanted to, stick some paper underneath or some card inside. If you didn't want to finish stitching all of it, it's completely up to you what how you how you go about doing that. But most of the stuff you'll see on the internet will have the whole thing covered, like these are covered. They will. There are only a few things that leave gaps, but the leaving gaps you can make them look really pretty if you want to. You just need to be a bit careful about the backs. Uh, oh, that's the back you're looking at there. So your backs will look, you know, even with the best wool, you can still tell where your joins are. This one is fairly close in that there's just a gap where the stitching's been done. But something like this is a big mess. I was using less wool and I didn't go up and down each time. I, I went up, across, down, across, up across down across rather than like that where you use a lot more wool okay uh, that's all I'm going to show you how to do if there's something that you particularly want sorry let's uh, actually show my face turn that light off right that's all I'm going to show you how to do if there's something that you want or you're stuck with then drop a line if you want me to make a specific video then I can do that but I think you'll find some clearer videos online than I can make at the moment so it's better that I just give you links to those and have shown you some variations uh, in these videos. Have fun!